This college football predictions edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Colorado, Indiana, Michigan, New Jersey, Tennessee, and Virginia. From boosted parlays to in game odds on every major sport, WinBet has what you need to win. Sign up today to receive a $500 risk free sports bet. Download the WinBet app now or visit WYNNBet.com and start winning today. We're also brought to you by PropSwap. America's number one app to buy and sell sports bets. Use promo code SGP on your first deposit and receive up to $500 in bonus cash. That's propswap.com, promo code SGP. We're also brought to you by PicksWise. PicksWise is the number one home of free sports betting picks. Visit picksWise.com to make your next bet better. We're also brought to you by Odds Crowd. Are you the best football better in the United States? Odds Crowd challenges you to prove it with their free to play fantasy betting contest. Over 30,000 up for grabs over the season. Go to oddscrowd.com to sign up. And of course, don't forget to download the SGPN app. SGPN is giving you a chance to win $100,000 NFL Week One exclusively on the SGPN app. Ooh, welcome everyone to the Sports Gambling Podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Oh, well, first of all, Thunder and Lightning, aka the good looking side of the table, is back. Uh, if you're wondering, I am Thunder. Colby is Lightning. Sean, <laughs> if you please bring him on so we can talk to him. Joining us, as always, when we talk college football, Colby Dan, aka the Danta Base. What's happening, Danta Base? Four and three, four and three, and in seven week zero games. I'm um, look. NC Nick might have might have just really killed it. What six and six one. Six and one. Yeah, six and one. The better Dan, right? Yeah, he had a strong first week. A lot of bullshit games happening. You know what I mean? Like Nebraska completely outgains Illinois and just somehow <laughs> finds a way to do what they've been doing the past couple of years and lose that game. That's my bad, guys. Uh, I I told you Brett Bielma was from the Joe Judge coaching tree, and I didn't I didn't listen. I didn't realize the culture would be there from day one. <laughs> did he co- did he coach special teams? Even because even when the uh, backup quarterback came in, he was better. What do you mean? That was a blessing in disguise. He he's real. Uh, I mean, I I know. He, yeah. Okay. Anyway, the point being, uh, Illinois shouldn't have won that game. Illinois won that game. Scott Frost Dude, is a dumpster fire. The special teams coach should be fired already. Scott Frost yeah. is uh, on the hot seat. We're gonna get into that hardcore in the uh, next episode. We're taping two today. Two days are back, but this is gonna be a season long college football predictions. In case you're just hopping in, you didn't get a chance to catch one of the 130 plus episodes that Colby put out on the college football experience. We're going to go through who we got when in the different conferences, our college football playoff predictions, which we have not given out national championship Heisman trophy winner. It's all happening today. So hyped, so hyped for college football week zero felt like a little mini exhibition, but we're back. Week one is here. College football division uh, or sorry, college football conference odds. They're there. Win totals to make the playoffs, miss the playoffs. They got it all over at WinBet. Head over to WYNNBET.com or download the Win Betting app. Let's fucking go. And we will be live in the WinBet studio. Uh, the Blue Wire WinBet studio for our what will be week three college football uh, picks show. We'll be no, broadcast. Two. two. Two, yeah, zero, zero. yeah, yeah. I, I mean, the week <laughs> zero throws me off. Oh. Yeah, I got you. You're good. You're good, man. Just right. enjoy the games, man. Kramer, f- feel free to finish the read. No, no, go. <laughs> I'm laughing at how serious Colby got when you missed. The, you got the. Well, week I don't want run. people to think if you look at week three, it's the yeah. NFL week one. So you're right. <laughs> College yeah. football week two. I was doing the week zero math. You don't have to do any math. Just download the win betting app. Get that five hundred dollar risk free bet in. Let's fucking go. No, I wasn't laughing at you, Sean. I was la- I mean, the last time I saw Colby this serious was when you when you uh, spoke poorly of Sister Jean. So I, I just had to <laughs> I had to laugh a little bit. That at was that. the best. And and we'll be going through uh, all the week one picks on the week one uh, picks podcast. So stay tuned for that one. But uh, before we get to the conference uh, winners. It's time for this week's installment of Real Men of DGen, brought to you by PropSwap.com. Head over to PropSwap.com. Use that promo code SGP again. 
five hundred up to five hundred dollars in uh, prop swap credit over there. Buy and sell sports bets. SGPN presents Real Men of DGENs. Real Men of DGENs. We salute you. Jamie Hoff in the Slack channel. Jamie Ooh. decided to risk it all. He has uh, three kids and he likes to take them to the Baltimore Aquarium. But however, he, he likes to spice things up for his kids. Quote This year, I made the decision for my family to side with. Colby dance lock and choose the corn huskers at minus seven as our annual aquarium play. My children have listened to multiple unedited podcasts featuring Colby and fully backed this decision. My <laughs> six year old is incredibly enthusiastic about sea life and would not trust a bet of this magnitude to an expert who previewed any less than 120 <laughs> teams this off season. <laughs> Go horn, go corn huskers. Well, Jamie, unfortunately, oh. didn't work out for you. Uh, we were all on the huskers there, but hopefully your kids enjoyed the sweat. There was a, a moment there where it felt like the huskers should have pulled it out. They won the yardage battle. They won the yardage severely, battle severely. Explain that to the six-year-old when he's uh, not getting <laughs> to the aquarium. But uh, what? Hey, reach out. We'll we'll happily hook the kids up with some gear. Maybe we can figure out a way to get them to the aquarium. Maybe maybe they can coach special teams better at Nebraska. Wow, wow. Oh, maybe they could. I I think the bar is pretty low. Yeah, definitely. it's just awesome. Remember that. when Colby liked Scott Frost as a coach? Mm. Still there. Mm. I see it. Still the twinkle I, look, is still in your I, heart. I, just I like Sean and Carson Wentz. He's gonna do fine at mm. Duke. <laughs> Already got him moving yeah. over to uh, Duke. All right, let's get to it, Kramer. Let's talk. Uh, right. Let's talk conferences. I mean, do you want to let's let's uh, just to appease Colby and the couple fans that want to hear about the group of five? AAC, Colby, who is your conference winner? <laughs> I mean, I mean, you uh, do we not the East Carolina Pirates we, are, are oh. primed and ready for this? We don't all like Cincy, right? No, we're taking Cincinnati. Yeah, but East Carolina is going to beat Cincinnati uh, for the last game of the year in Greenville. But Colby, wouldn't that be? I know you're rooting for East Carolina, but wouldn't that, I mean, Cincinnati needs to win that game. If we're ever going to truly disrupt the college football playoff, don't you want Cincinnati to do that? I'm reluctant to believe that even if they go undefeated, they'll be in wait. Now so, you're just taking your toys and going home. No, no, no. I'm okay. rooting for East Carolina. I'm saying they're never going to do this until we expand and Texas ruined that expansion. So uh, at this point you just, you just root for East Carolina, you know? They're not okay. going to put in a group of five. I don't care if they're preseason top ten. Brian, what are, they, what are, the, what are yeah. the odds? I, I, yeah, so I, I'm looking at the odds. Uh, since he's minus two fifty, UCF no. plus four hundred, Houston plus twelve hundred, Memphis plus fourteen hundred, Tulsa sixteen to one, SMU twenty five to one, Tulane fifty to one. I'm not going to go any further. Navy one hundred fifty to one. Uh, you know, some good value. ECU eighty to one. Colby, stop wasting our <laughs> listeners' time. Holton uh, Alice, baby. Can, can I say that I, I wouldn't play UCF? Maybe that's the garbage play here. Don't get caught up with that being your dog. Go for something steeper like Houston at twelve well, to one. Well, Houston has a great schedule because they avoid yeah. Cincy and UCF. But uh, Cincy's the answer to this question. Cincy minus two fifty. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean the the fact that it's Cincy is only minus two fifty that feels like a steal. I mean, again, this team is what top? What are they? What are they rank right now? Eighth in the country. I mean, that's yeah. the problem, right? You worry that they they do they're, that. They're overhyped. Yeah. They're buying in, but I feel like they even last year they got a decent amount of hype, and it didn't seem to didn't seem to get in their heads that well, much. I mean, they're still going to win are, the AAC. Are we nervous that we're backing a team that ducked Tulsa the final game of the season? No, I'm not worried about. I, that. I don't like football teams that are like that. We're, we're, you know we're throwing mean? out. Look, you like the coach, Colby. You're just fine in a reason. So for that reason, I like it even more. Minus. Don't overthink it. Since he minus two fifty. All right, let's uh, let's head over to Conference USA, <laughs> pulling up the odds right now. America, we got Marshall, UAB, and UTSA all at three to one. Notice that UTSA heavy representation mm. in the Phil Steele uh, all conference teams. They have a great schedule too. Uh, and then we have Western Kentucky eight fifty, uh, FAU at twelve to one, Rice at fourteen to one, Southern Miss, Middle Tennessee State, North Texas, Old Dominion, Charlotte, and Louisiana Tech all twenty five to one. Uh, take a flyer on Louisiana Tech twenty five to one, guys. Do that. Do that. Is that what we're doing? Well, I'm just I, saying the value. Uh, you, it makes a lot of sense. They're a lot better than what that 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 value is there. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go UAB though. I think Bill Craig, Clark. You said Western. Yeah. Uh, wait, what's uh, what's UAB's price? 
I think plus three hundred was well, UAB yeah. is one of the favorites at plus three hundred. Yeah, I mean yeah. UAB. I, I think they're returning uh, a bunch of guys as well. They're probably the team to beat. Although Colby at at, at plus eight fifty, Western Kentucky, the Hilltoppers, they have a legit pass rush. I know there's some questions on the offensive side, but is it crazy to sprinkle a little on uh, Western Kentucky? I, I find them to be one of the more mi- like complete mysteries in college football. They're bringing Love in, it. they're bringing in a, a mystery plus eight fifty. Th- Count me in. Let's well, go. They're bringing in a uh, the offensive coordinator of Houston Baptist, who had yes. Bailey Zappi, their quarterback, who threw like he had like fifty touchdowns and like five thousand yards, and yeah. they're bringing in the three receivers with them. It, but also, you got to know that your defense is going to get worse with that offense. Uh, here's the thing. You guys can hop on your Western they Kentucky have, they bullshit. Have, they have a pass rush. I think it's enough. You you can throw the ball and you can rush the passer. That's how you win this. Meanwhile, conference. I'm gonna agree with my man Phil Steele. Twenty returning starters like Florida Atlantic to be in that championship game. Ooh. So at plus twelve, going with Willie Taggart. He you know <laughs> he's ahead of schedule here. I like dude. This, this they're, is they're one of the most this, talented this is teams. Prime in the Willie Taggart level of F- a fade Marshall though. He can uh, I'm not he, buying he the can Marshall succeed. Yeah. Uh, so Colby's on UAB. I'm on UAB and Western Kentucky. Kramer just no, FAU. I would throw no, no, UAB. I'm going to throw in a La Tech. What was that? Oh, yeah, Plus twenty five to one. Yeah. I would throw in UAB. That's a big dog. I, to me, I think UAB and, and, and FAU are is. playing for the championship. So I I would you know you could play it both ways. Plus we like uh we like backing a team. That wants to rep a fucking dinosaur as their as their mascot. Oh, yeah, the so. bearded dragon. And I was I was down in Costa Rica the uh, past week. You probably didn't know the listeners because the content train didn't even take a stop. We were it, we pre taped a bunch of stuff. Still still uh, cranking out the content. We went to uh, in Costa Rica. They have a place called Croc Bridge. And it's just basically this bridge. Bunch of dudes with Tommy Bahama shirts and Crocs no, on. No, <laughs> although they do sell Crocs there at the gift at the gift store. That's very meta. And it's just like a gift. <laughs> it's just like a gift stand where some guy has a bunch of Croc teeth that he's like yeah. trying to get you to wear the Croc teeth. It's this basically a highway overpass. It's a bridge, and all these gigantic ass Crocs hang out under there, and the locals just keep throwing dead chickens there so that they just always live there. And these crocodiles get amazing, and we're wa- just like looking at them. And this one, I don't know what happened, but one croc bumped this other croc, and he jumped out of the air. He was like, yeah, like nine, ten feet long, with mouth open, going through the air. It was fu- it was insane. Are you if sure you- it's only chickens? Because that seems like a great way to dispose of body. Oh yeah, if you right? killed someone, <laughs> you just throw them over that bridge. You, you gotta, gotta think of it. it. Everyone's seen the videos of like the great whites breaching. And yeah. like it's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. I've it's, never it's seen a giant the, muscle, but these, these crocs are also ju- all muscle. I've watched the little ones fascinated by uh, reptile species. So we've watched a lot of croc. Mm. And like watching crocs battle like other like mammals like jaguars and stuff, they can Anyway, have you showed her? They're like break dancers. They're like really sturdy, strong break dancers (laughs) with a bite. Have you showed her Crocodile Dundee one, two, and three yet? Uh, I feel like we've watched clips from Crocodile (laughs) Dundee one, but we haven't. Check check out the Tarkula's uh, bridge. Just Google it. There's some awesome Croc photos. All right, where are we at? Mac, Mac? let's go. All right, good old Mac. Toledo plus two ten. Ball State plus four fifty. Ohio plus five fifty with Buffalo. Western Michigan plus seven fifty. Kent State nine fifty. Central Michigan fourteen to one. Miami of Ohio eighteen to one. Eastern Michigan forty to one. And then we have Northern Illinois, Akron, and Bowling Green. Arguably three of the worst teams in the country. All two hundred fifty to one. Uh, Colby is Akron and Bowling Green. Are they potentially in the conversation for auto fade? Bowling Green, one hundred percent. Bowling Green, yeah. Akron, probably too, down. but I think they're going to get uh, be a little bit better. All right, so we'll we'll, we'll yeah. jot down in the. By the way, Sean, I don't know if you saw this uh, while you were vacationing, but uh, we my uh, my college football notes did make social media, showing people what we have in the uh, thou shall uh, category. <laughs> uh, in, includes things like fade New Mexico State. So yeah, stay tuned. We learned that. that. We learned that. Uh, one. So we're going to put a fade Bowling Green in this uh, on this list, and then uh, Sean, who do you like? Or should we let Colby go first? Well, Colby can go first. So can I, I've kind of identified a potential dog, Kent State. Yes. Talk me out of Kent State, you, Colby. Well, Best quarterback you. in the conference? Yes, Dustin Crum. Remember, I, remember I think uh, they just have a very high ceiling offense offense wise. And what was the price for Kent State, Kramer? Kent State nine fifty. Uh, yeah, and come then, on. And if you want to talk about a conference, maybe the most distributed odds of any conference in the country in terms of how many teams have a legitimate shot uh, uh, to win. Uh, 
I mean, to me, I think Ball State's a fun story. They have a fun opening. Week. Well, they won it last year, and, and they, they, they return almost well, everybody. They're one of the favorites. Uh, they have a, a they have a lot of super seniors. Like yep. they're one of the the, the top super Mike senior New teams. Doing a great job there in the country. Yeah. And then you know who knows they could be rolling off a potential upset. Yeah. Do, can yeah. they beat Penn State? Absolutely. I don't know about that. But absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah I was going to come in here with the in, the incredible hot take of give me Kent State and give me Ball State to be playing in the conference uh, mm. championship. And so for that reason, sprinkle both of them. I'm, I love the Kent State plays. I mean, they, first off, they're out of conference slate. It's ridiculous. They get like A and M and and another. But uh, this coach Sean Lewis is is I think he's going to be the head coach of Syracuse this time next year. And Terrell uh, Furman saying Kent State money line plus twenty two hundred yeah. to beat A and M oh, week wow. one. Okay, okay. Let, <laughs> let's relax a little bit. Oh, but I I'll, I'll take him at uh, nine to one to win the MAC. Colby, what's your what's your official play here for the? Uh, I'm gonna ride Kent State too. It's the most value. I mean, uh, oh, it, I think yeah. it's gonna be Toledo and Kent State. How'd I copy yeah. him there, Ryan? Yeah, yeah. Hmm? Huh? I mean, you guys were talking before the show. I I can't. I we can't, did not talk about Kent State. I can't verify uh, all of this, but yeah, I mean. Like I said, Sean, uh, I, I'm with you. Make it three people on Kent State. Kent State tripling it up on Kent State. And what then, could go wrong? And then I, I also I, I do think you got to play a little. Ball State price isn't right. I, I, I agree. I, I do like the value in Ball State. I think Ball State and Toledo came down to a field goal win last year for Ball State. It's gonna be back and forth. Uh, I could totally see Ball State winning that again. So that there's better value in Ball State than Toledo. All right, Kramer Mountain West. Before oh. we go on, sorry. Yeah, that's why you I see. You see, I got a book in my hands. <laughs> you see, a, a physical book. All right, let me put this down. Want to shout out PicksWise.com, number one home of free sports betting, picks, props, and parlays, helmed by a team of trend watching, data devouring sports fanatics, giving you the who, how, and why behind every prediction for every game, every day, and every sport, all for free. Head over to PicksWise.com to make your next bet better. PicksWise backs responsible gambling. You or someone you know once helped call one eight hundred Gambler again. Pickswise.com. It's more free picks. That's what you want. Kramer, let's talk about Paramount Plus and the beautiful game. Sean, the summer of soccer continues on Paramount Plus. Stream over two thousand soccer matches a year from around the world. That's all the heart pounding drama from CBS Sports, including UEFA Champions League, Europa League, Italy's Serie A, Argentina's Primera División, the Brasiliaro, NWSL, the Asian Football Confederation, and the CONCACAF qualifiers, which features the stars from the U.S. and Mexican men's national teams, plus much more. It's the best of the beautiful game with all the beautiful names like Messi and Mbappe, Ronaldo Rapino, and Pulisic. Be part of the excitement as champions are crowned and history is made. The world's game lives here on Paramount Plus. I, only soccer could get away with beautiful names. Like it'd be like, you know, it is known as the beautiful game, Colby. I know, but the beautiful names. Reggie White, beautiful name. I think it's one of those. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, Jalen Hurts, beautiful name. Uh, I, don't know. I, I do agree. All right, Kramer, Wait, let's talk sh- Mountain West. Sh- shout out to all the people that responded to my picture of Devontae Smith and uh, Jalen Hurts. Just all sorts of slanderous comments about what sport they were playing. Oh, Mountain West. Rents due every day, Ryan. He's not missing a payment. Yeah. Daniel Jones, pocket presence. My, quarter, my quarterback owns, doesn't rent. <laughs> Boise State plus 115, Nevada plus 400, <laughs> Wyoming plus 800 with San Jose State, Fresno State, San Diego State 11 to 1, Air Force 20 to 1, Hawaii 25 to 1, Colorado State 80 to 1, Utah State 100 to 1, New Mexico 150 to 1, and UNLV. Just trash mm. city, 250 to 1. I think you start with Boise State here, but I think you, you you'd be silly to to overlook San Jose State. A hundred percent. And I, you know, our yeah. gals again too. They they're always they always pop their head up. They do let us down, so I'm going to keep them off the card. But I think San Jose State at eight to one. It struck me as an odd number. Right? What, what, what about what's what about, not to like there, Colby? What about uh, I, I mean, yeah, I, I think you just if you're. I mean, Boise State. It's hard not to see them winning this. However, if there was a surprise yeah. team, what about Air Force, Colby? What about well, Air Force? I mean, they, 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 the triple option gives teams fits. They could, uh, but I. Still I mean, think- what, I'm just looking at 2020 was clearly just a season from hell for Air Force. But if they can get back to that 2019 form, I, I think them at 20 to one is kind of interesting. Yeah, I, I, I anytime they, they've been the. The kryptonite uh, to Boise over the past, you know, fifteen years. 
Um, but I'll say San Jose State, they avoid Bo- playing Boise. So if yeah. th- it, there's a good chance Boise would have to win the Mountain West Championship at San Jose State. And uh, I, I just think they they brought back 20 starters. They have two physical running backs. Nick Starkles in his 35th year of college. So when you have that, it's a pretty good nucleus to uh, to to repeat. They they went undefeated in the in the Mountain West last year. I mean, again, you can argue San Jose State has the best quarterback in the conference. I mean, I think most people would argue that Nevada has a better quarterback. But I think again, don't when see, you're don't sleep on Bachmeyer for but, Boise. But buddy. when you're taking a dog that happens to have a solid defense and the best quarterback, maybe the best quarterback it, again, eight to one. Delicious yeah. price, Colby. Yeah, I'm with you. Good looking side of the table. Did agrees. you listen to the college experience? Because that was one of my locks. Oh, of course. You know, you know, I listen to every single episode. So I'm going Boise State as as the lock, but Air Force at 21 is is tempting. Are you guys also including uh, Boise State, or are you just going San yeah, Jose? I'll do, State? I'll do Boise San Jose mix because I think that's going to be the Mountain West Championship. Yeah, that would be. Uh, you know what? I'll, let's let's be fun. Let's throw a, a complete wild card. I'll give me San Jose State and Wyoming. Wyoming both, could, dude. Both they eight could. to one, just because they return the most production in all of college football. I think it's easy to pencil Boise State in like we typically do, and maybe someone knocks them off their well, chair. Bachmeyer's legit though, and they have Jack Sears. Bachmeyer's such yeah. a great name. All right, former Sun Belt specialist myself. Mm. Current Sun Belt specialist. We don't have a replacement yet. Louisiana is sitting at even money. Coastal plus two hundred. App State plus four hundred. Troy twenty five to one. Georgia State, Arkansas State forty to one. Georgia, Georgia Southern fifty to one. And then we got Texas State one hundred to one. South Alabama one hundred fifty to one with ULM. Louisiana is the obvious choice. Yeah, especially because that side of the the division. There's two divisions. The uh, that side of the divisions. Where you have all the shitty teams, so they have like a cakewalk to the. Uh, yeah, they also get to play the. Uh, they get a tune-up game against Texas. That should be pretty. That easy. always helps. That's a nice warm-up um, game. <laughs> Basically, an FCS <laughs> matchup with Sark coaching. I, I think there's no value. I mean, like uh, I guess yeah, Louisiana, I think is definitely going to be in. You can make the case Coastal, you know, at plus two hundred, returning a bunch, but they got to go up to. Uh, I don't like, and win. I, don't about, like, I mean, I'm go. I, I don't like Coastal at, at plus four hundred. I'm going App State. Uh, that could be the case. I think Georgia State returning twenty one starters. I, I was gonna say then, we got to take a look at Georgia State because it's forty to one. See, my only problem is they gave them a death blow. Like the, the, the schedule is tough, right? No, no, no. The, the Sun Belt gave them. Look at this three game stretch. You never hear of like in conference three straight away games at Georgia <laughs> Southern, at Louisiana, at Coastal Carolina. Those are like uh, the three best option. teams in the. So I think your your play is actually to take Georgia Southern. The value, what's mm. that? Plus f- plus five thousand. Ooh, fifty to one. G- uh, Georgia. You think the triple? O- you're you're coming in heavy and hot on the triple option teams. Today. Well, look, last year they played at Louisiana. Louisiana, they actually were winning majority of that game. Louisiana made a fifty five yard field goal to win that thing. Um, that now Louisiana's got to come to Paulson Stadium. You look at their other series of games. Coastal Carolina, they got to come all the way to Paulson Stadium in Statesboro, Georgia. I like their schedule. They yes, they have to win at App State, but they did that two years ago. The triple option always gives teams fits. I think for value, that makes the most sense because of the schedule. Because yeah. Georgia State, could well, be, I mean, could be the best team in the conference. Coming back to yeah. App State, though, I mean, they, they seem like a team that's just consistently they, they are won at least nine games in every season since 2015. Don't you don't you appreciate that consistency, Colby? I do. I, I just feel like able- you're always an App State guy, and it's scaring me that you're. You're not buying into my App State bait. Well, they they play East Carolina on Thursday, Sean, <laughs> and I can't. You're asking me to root for App State this week. That's that's just not going to happen. But I'll say this: yes, uh, but I, they've had three coaches in, in essentially three years. I think that takes a toll on a program. They brought in Chase Bryce, who was a Duke transfer, wasn't very good at Duke. I have concerns at the quarterback spot. Everywhere else, I like what I see, but I just the coach has got to buy into the program. Yeah, there but you go. even even through those coaching changes, nine games every year. Yeah, well, last year they, they I think if you watch well, yeah, that, last State, they year. took that, and that was the first year for Sean Clark. They took a step down. Now, yes, they still played really good. They were in all those games they lost. That could be adjusted. That could be COVID. You chalk it up to whatever. Uh, East Carolina beats them Thursday, though. Sean, thanks for asking. <laughs> What are you getting that money line at, Colby? Dude, they're ten and a half dog or ten and a half point dogs. I'm telling you right now, you hear it on the other show. You hear it on the other Louisiana show. Louisiana at even money, I think, is I'm playing. Uh, but if you want a long shot, I'll, I'm going to stick with my guns with Georgia State. And I also think, I, I mean, Louisiana win. Uh, give me Louisiana 
App State also fits my second year head coach it's thing true. with Sean Clark. They were nine and three last year. And then even, you know, even Hard and uh, fast. You know, 13 and one, 11 and two, nine and four, 10 and three, 11 and two. Like they just, I don't know. I'm, I'm uh, Louisiana at that price. Isn't interesting to me. I'm just going to go app state plus 400. All right. Louisiana and Georgia state, please. Georgia state 40 to one. I, I do think it's hard to see Louisiana not winning this guy. I, I, I think they're going to shock people and be like a ranked team after they beat Texas and they, really? they run off. I, What's that, the number? No, they're already ranked. What's the number? They're in preseason that? ranked. What's the number in that? Uh, they're getting, I think, eight and a half. Oh, that number keeps dropping. I think wasn't it two yeah, touchdowns? It was like, preseason? It was like eleven or twelve. Yeah. Maybe the takes getting too hot. <clears throat> Maybe we got to run for cover there, Sean. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Let's talk ACC. What do you got, Kramer? I'm pulling up the odds. I'm, I mean, is it? Is, is it, it just that about? simple to just bet Clemson? Yeah. Yes. How, how do you? I guess you don't even overthink it, and yeah. you look to books uh, like minus nine hundred that have options where you can parlay some of these uh, some of these conference winners. But yeah, I mean at at minus nine hundred, I guess I'm All betting right. it. Colby, make a case for a, a a dog. To me, maybe it's UNC because I do like Sam Howell, and maybe will you this is that transcendent season for him. But you play this game. Which one of these teams? Uh, will be in the conference championship against Clemson, and will they be a ten to one underdog in that game? I think your play is NC State because fifty they, to one. We'll if pack. they get Clemson in Raleigh, where they've mm. actually played them close a couple times in the past decade, so you're saying and they they like they're in the championship game. Well, that's the, I think your best route is like when Alabama missed it that one year. You have a two game lead if you beat them essentially, so you can even afford to lose one because you have the tiebreaker over them. So I, I think your value play is getting NC State because they get the plus, home game. Yeah. So then, do you also in that theory then would you also not want to then play the other side because they wouldn't be playing Clemson? Like be, yeah. Be, so you're projecting Clemson not even making it to the championship game, which means who do you like on the other well, side? Well, uh, I think Clemson's going to go, but pl- my, minus nine hundred. Why would anyone play that? Just in case, right? No, it's like it's better uh, better than the three percent that some of these shops will sell you. <laughs> And Clemson's known to like drop a game occasionally in the regular season. You know what I mean? Like they normally will lose one. So I think you go NC State plus five th- or plus five thousand. Fifty to one. Yeah, I'm fifty in. to one. And then you take one in the coastal Hashtag that you think. Only. You know, if it's North Carolina, it's North Carolina. If it's, I mean, I'll say this: if NC State gets to, to that game, anyone in the coastal has a shot. And Is a it Narduzzi? Or do we we don't like laying points with Narduzzi and if they start winning games? Yeah, I, I don't know how you, I I think you completely sell Miami. I don't see I don't see the hype there. I think King, there's no way he's going to be healthy. He tore his ACL way too late in the season. North Carolina, I guess, is the choice. So do you really play both North Carolina schools? Yeah, potentially that. But uh, I, I'm going to go NC State and Virginia. Okay. I think Virginia's flying under the radar. I will I do. Bronco I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that. North Carolina double up. Give me NC State and UNC. UNC at ten to one. It's a gross, gross choice here. But we'll be throwing UVA in at a hundred to one. I like it. I like it, man. I think that hey, the last time we had a coastal division, they won it. So Kramer, what are you locking in here? And you know, just to because yeah, I mean, you Jesus. I mean, I'm I think it's Clemson, but I I like Colby's angle with taking NC State. Uh, I agree with the angle. Like NC State could be the team that, especially from a win total perspective, like I think they're being slept on a little bit and it's a fun way to play them. If you like them to have a good season, they probably that good season may include them upsetting. Clemson. Yeah. My, my yeah. lock from the ACC and, and Colby's lock as well was over six and a half. And I, I don't know if that's currently still there, but that's, that seems like easy money. Yeah, yeah. Even at seven, I like it. If it went to seven, I'm not sure that it did, but it, they're, they're going to be really good. They got, they have like legit NFL players on NC state. So yeah, I mean, I, I still think you sprinkle Pittsburgh at sixty. I think they have some. I games. like that too. Uh, the coastal's chaos, though. I mean, yeah, but that's why, like, if, yeah. if 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 you're able to again, if if Pittsburgh's in the ch- representing the conference in the championship game, they're not going to be sixty to one in that game. But that's why I took Virginia as as a hundred to one. What do you call those bets, Sean? Horse horse bets. <laughs> Bowser calls them uh, horse race bets. Horse yeah. race bets. Maybe a horse race bet or two on <laughs> Pittsburgh and NC State. All right, next up. We got more major. We're but we're off the minor. We're on the major conferences. Big it's twelve. Big leagues. Uh, unfortunately, the major conference. This ain't gonna be a major conference for much longer, guys. The Alliance. 
We'll see what, uh, we'll see what well, you say. Even the alliance oh, is, is the San Diego fleet going to come back and represent the alliance? <laughs> I, I think we could get San. They need a, they, I mean, first off, that's the worst name. Yeah. When well, there's already, a, I get it. The Alliance of American Football. John, we liked it more than the general public, but if you may, why would you use that? Remember you they could, let those uh, quarterback get blasted. That you thing could play was, the, that uh, was pretty fun a, as the the days of our league, please, because <laughs> it seems to have spread into college football. This is a systemic issue we're dealing with. <laughs> Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our league. Holy Toledo, Sean. We'll show you, SEC. We're going to start our own league. Just, and you're not invited. Just when I thought they were going to get <laughs> voted off the island, they've come to an agreement, and there will be an alliance amongst all the other Power the Five. Dangerous truce. Via, will, there, will there be any backstabbing? <laughs> the Big Ten and, and, and the ACC have never gotten along before. I don't know if I buy that the ACC is all in on this one. Handshake deal. They mean everything. I can't imagine Clemson's ri- Clemson can't be in on well, this. Uh, the handshake deal is hilarious because they're not honoring their written sign contracts. They're doing everything yeah. they can get out yeah. of them. But the handshake deal. Remember that. Remember that handshake. All right. Remember that handshake. We're doing USC Michigan guys. Oh my God. This the, oh. anyway. These major conferences. The odds. Not not the most fun. Oklahoma. Sorry. Back to back to the uh, the the real world outside of the. Uh, the but soap I, opera that is the the college football landscape right now. They've completely destroyed the playoff. So thank yeah. you for that. Assholes. Texas is the worst piece of shit on so the planet. It's all Let's Texas, honest, right? Fault. It's yeah. They're they're the they're the driving force behind this. Texas. They, and they've always been. They've been that woman that's like, oh, no matter what you do, she's gonna complain. I'm gonna you know have to mean? do a deep dive to figure out what Kanye's uh, involvement in the Texas football program <laughs> is that he's continuing Scapegoat to ruin for everything. My life. Oklahoma is minus one seventy. Iowa State plus two fifty. Texas. And Oklahoma State and TCU twelve to one, West Virginia twenty five to one, Kansas State and Baylor are fifty to one, Texas Tech a hundred to one, and Kansas, oof, two hundred fifty to one. Not well, a good look. I think I think we're I think we're moving that win total. I've seen some other uh, networks out there hopping on our Kansas over one. Oh, well, I'm on the under, so no. they're hopping <laughs> on the wrong side. I, I was speaking right? of Colby at minus one seventy. This is uh, I mean. This is right up there with Cincinnati, and maybe even you just parlay Oklahoma and Cincinnati. Yeah, and then, and then the other value play would be taking West Virginia, right? For West Virginia, I mean, look, there's a shot that I, I think there's a decent shot what? Iowa State's not playing in that. I'm saying for the, the are you taking Oklahoma to win, but I'm saying my other pick would be West Virginia plus what twenty five hundred. Yeah, give me that all day. I mean, don't you just take Kansas State if you want a crazy play? I mean, all those teams have a shot. Even I mean, why don't you take my my Jayhawks? I'm not taking your Jayhawks. I'll take the <laughs> other team in Kansas if I really want to go bargain shopping. That would be where I go. Uh, to me, though, if you like the narrative game, TCU and Oklahoma State. I feel like if you grab both of those teams at twelve to one, you're getting one of the teams playing in the conference championship. And from a narrative perspective, is there going to be a team with a bigger chip on their programs back than Oklahoma State right now? They're yeah. they're being like they're honestly the team being fucked the hardest here, uh, and then as far as just a team that you like to overperform is TCU. So that would be my angle if I was looking to play something other than Oklahoma. I just think it's such a hard like this Oklahoma team. I think is a, a legit national championship contender. Yeah, TCU is my dark horse in the Big Twelve. What is uh what's what's the current price, Kramer? TCU and Oklahoma State are twelve to one. Yeah, I'm going TCU. I don't know if there's room on the card for three teams, but I'm going to say Oklahoma is my mega play. <laughs> but I would sprinkle, I would sprinkle TCU and Oklahoma State. I mm-hmm. like the angle of like, I like Gundy with a with like a chip on his shoulder and a chip on the program shoulder. Like so, they're going to let him go go full tilt, Gundy this year. So I kind of like that. Uh, I don't know. Could you see them ruining Oklahoma season this year? Potentially, you on the poten- I mean, yeah, I could do that. I mean, but anyway, yeah, Oklahoma would still find a way in if they won the Big Twelve championship, though. Yeah, of course, this year. Oh yeah, time to talk about Manscaped. Oh, the lawnmower 4.0. Are you kidding me? These guys are—they're uh, like uh, iPhone, just coming out with new, better versions. But unlike uh, the iPhone, you gotta upgrade when you got the lawnmower 4.0. 
Now they're suggesting the host to talk about a time when he's hurt his balls while trimming below the waist. <laughs> Happy to share, Manscape Company man here. You ever get those uh, safety scissors? Try to do some work downstairs. It is not a good idea. You got you when you're going downstairs. You got to use the right tools. Uh, you're not um, you're not hedging uh, you're not hedging your lawn, Ryan. If you're, if you're trimming your bushes, you're getting those nice big shears. Yeah. You're not out there with like uh, you know some safety scissors. And the same applies to uh, blow the waist grooming. If you're like me, Manscaped, it gets it done. And they got the uh, crop preserver, ball deodorant. Again, look sharp, feel sharp, bet sharp, especially in the bedroom. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code SGP at manscaped.com. 20% off and free shipping with the code SGP at manscaped.com. All right. And by the way, for those wondering, Sean did have the nickname at one point in his life, Wally Mitz. So yes. it wasn't to compliment his dexterity. <laughs> Again, uh, yeah. <laughs> not, I've I've Yo. been clumsy at times. Or may, maybe have a couple cocktails. You're going to want the uh, grooming light. <laughs> And uh, safety guard wait, that wait, they have. Wait, wait, wait! The dungeon master is back. He just made a, a dexterity <laughs> reference. Oh, I can't. Right? Oh, Jesus Christ! Sorry, sorry if I know. Sorry if I have a fifth grade vocabulary. Colby. All just right. don't take my clagger. My, my uh, I fucked it up. Yeah, go. I, I yeah. do. I am yeah. enjoying. Clagger how, is not. I was word. trying to say uh, my cloak dex, dagger. Dex, my, yeah. de, my dexterity rating is definitely <laughs> higher than Sean's. <laughs> Big Ten, baby. Ohio State minus two twenty. Wisconsin plus six hundred. Penn State plus nine hundred. Iowa plus nine. Indiana twenty to one, Michigan twenty five to one, Minnesota thirty to one, Nebraska oof, lower than this now forty to one, Northwestern fifty to one, Michigan State, Purdue, Maryland a hundred to one, Illinois and Rutgers two hundred fifty to one. No respect for Shiano. Gotta do we put two bucks on that just in <laughs> case? Um, I mean, I'm less confident about Ohio State. Is that is that then, as then, anyone should be? I mean, well, their pass defense was one of the worst in the nation last year. They're breaking in a new quarterback that we has never thrown a pass that we haven't seen. I mean, that hasn't happened in a long time at Ohio State. The so. entire room hasn't thrown a pass, right? Like, but that's they're not so yeah. talented, man. They they they're, they have like five wide receivers that are going to be first round <laughs> draft picks. They I'm, I'm like, looking at my Big Ten predictions. I did have Nebraska over six. <laughs> mm, no I, good. That can still happen. Uh, no, yeah, no. it can it can still Look, happen. That's that a wake now, up call, right? They play Fordham this week. You know what yeah, I mean? It's a wake up call. Yeah. It's a bounce back spot. Will, will was they, they still severely outgain Illinois. Like you're supposed to win that game. I'm not touching. Uh, I'm not touching Ohio State. Just give me Wisconsin. Hope for the best at seven to one. Not taking Penn State. No. Really? Mm. It's rare for What's you to happened? not be a what homer. Happened, What's man? up with that? No, I, I, I've, I've dabbled. I just think I, I don't know. I, I, I think Wisconsin, well-rounded team, getting back to some of the fundamentals. They're my they're my pick for the dog. Yeah, it keeps writing on my side of the bur- the fucking thing, and I'm adjusting uh, it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, look, I, look. I mean, Ohio State's the easy play here because they've win it almost every year. But but I, 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 there's no value in it. So give me Penn no. State in the East, and my dog is the Minnesota Golden Gophers. What are they at? Tanner Morgan. I mean, they they're lo- they have Muhammad Ibrahim, right? they're their great running back. Yes, uh, they're at plus three thousand. I think they're I think they're. Uh, like on both offense and defensive lines, they this is the best team flex ever had. And we like rowing the boat, right? It is a fun catch for us. And we yeah. are we in on Michigan at all at twenty five to one? No. <laughs> <laughs> Patty C is trying to sell me that bucket though. Do, does anyone think that anyone else can win the East? Like Penn State. Yeah, Penn State. They, they're Penn the State only can... other team that to me talent wise is on on that level. Yeah, it's tough because in, I'm I'm kind of out on Indiana. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I would if I'm if you're asking for a for a long shot, I would say I, I would agree with you guys, Minnesota. Rutgers. I, I mean, again, <laughs> everyone everyone buys into Shiano. Well, you play Penn State much like you play NC State because if Penn, had a, Penn State just a couple of years ago won the Big Ten, what it was that 2018, I think it was, uh, won the Big Ten because they beat Ohio State, then they had the tiebreaker. So therefore, when Penn State lost to I think Michigan, they still went to the big 10 championship. So you play Penn state because they actually play Ohio state very well. Even in their losses, I feel like they play them really well. So you, you take got, that. I got to read this. Play. This is Wisconsin's road games at Illinois, at Purdue, at Rutgers, at Minnesota to close the season. Yeah. 
Yep. Wisconsin. Let's go. They well, don't they, play they, well. They, they get a neutral home. site Notre Dame game too. You're right in yeah. Chicago. Yeah, that's. They'll be all right. Let's let's take the six to one, right? And then we can row the boat thirty to one. Wisconsin. I'm going to copy fun. Colby again. What yeah. do you mean? I'm going to. I said I'm going to see. So sense. I said I'm going to copy Colby. No, I was. Uh, all right. I'm going to copy Colby. <laughs> Not you. Okay, so you're taking Minnesota thirty to one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what else do you like? And Penn's. Well, no. <laughs> and Wisconsin. Okay, that's what was confusing because you said I'm going to copy Colby, right. and then you you're said right. Wisconsin. I was wrong. My bad. <laughs> no, I was I was trying to write the Pac-12, Oregon plus two fifty, Washington plus three fifty, USC, Arizona State plus four hundred, Utah six to one, UCLA twelve to one, and then a bunch of uh, garbage teams, Washington State. Whoa, whoa, whoa! My boss were four and Stanford, one of the regular season. <laughs> Stanford last year. to California fifty to one, Colorado and Oregon State sixty to one. Buffs and Beavers right next to each other. That's a that's a dangerous situation. Arizona hundred to one. I mean, I we we I think we all like Washington, right? No, yeah. I'm in. I'm all in on Washington. <laughs> Phil Steele has brainwashed me into believing Washington can pull this out. So, yeah, give me Washington. Give me the Huskies. I know I'm a Wazoo guy, and it's you know, you I, dub. I, I'm really you just want to be all in on Washington as well as Washington State. No. Mostly Washington, so I can get uh, invited to sailgating. That's really the dream. <laughs> I, I think, yeah, it's it, it's tough to look towards the bottom of this conference, in my opinion. Colby's probably going to give you a reason to take the Colorado Buffaloes. Well, just no, he's fact- all over on uh, UCLA. Yeah, I mean, I'm wearing the UCLA sweatshirt. You know what I mean? How about those Bruins? But no, I, I think the play is actually Utah. Really? Utah plus uh, six hundred. They get UCLA and Salt Lake City. Utah's money in Salt Lake City. Yep. They get Oregon and Salt Lake City. Uh, all they the, have a they get Arizona State in Salt Lake City. If Charlie Brewer transferring, I in, do like Brewer. Yeah. from from Baylor. college football yeah. yes. tournament fame. So I like the CFT. I like Utah. We expanded the playoff before even the committee considered. <laughs> we should send them our diet. We should send them our proposal. Do you want to know how to run a college football tournament? We figured it out. We for figured it, it out. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, Utah and uh, and and you know what? I was gonna go Washington with you guys, but that's no fun. Give me UCLA as the dog, plus I mean, twelve hundred. Uh, yeah, I would, I would say Washington from the north, so plus three fifty is fine. And then uh, I would I would say you can probably go Utah and UCLA. Just fade USC yeah, here, yeah. fade Arizona State as well. Yeah. Kind of crazy that they both in the South have longer odds. I don't get it. Yeah, because I mean, I, again. We see it now with one of the things we said with Nebraska is there's high uh, dumpster fire potential, yes. and if it starts early, it could go bad. Arizona State Sir. in a similar position, so we'll see how USC the season starts. USC too, really. If USC loses to San Jose State this week, Clay watch Helton. out by the Clay way. Clay Helton is, is he, his yeah. seat is not not hot at all, right? And reminder, we're going to be at the uh, UCLA LSU game, so if you're in the area, hit us up, or uh, we're going to be posting up tailgating, giving out some lighters, pressing the flesh. Saying what's up, cracking some cold ones. Yeah, come, come for the lighters. That was refreshing. Come for the lighters. Stay for the pressing of flesh. <laughs> All right, are we done? Oh, we have the last major conference. E C S E C. The best, the the granddaddy of them all. Alabama minus one sixty. Georgia plus one ninety. Texas A and M twelve to one. Florida eighteen to one. LSU twenty five to one. Old Miss. 30 to 1, Missouri 40 to 1, Auburn 50 to 1, Kentucky 60 to 1. Wow, so many bad teams in this conference. Tennessee 100 to 1 with Mississippi State, Hail State. South Carolina 150 to 1. Are are you alluding to I'm, Mississippi State being ooh, bad? I I'm dare t- you step I'm taking on this these program to say these long odds. Arkansas and Vanderbilt 250 to 1. I don't think we've had a single conference with two teams that were no, 250 to 1. No, because the SEC East is garbage. <laughs> SEC East is complete shit. So th- this, this is this is yeah. impressive. We did definitely didn't have a conference or sorry a division that had a team that was sixty to one to win their conference, a hundred <laughs> to one, one fifty to one, and two two fifty to one teams. Um, that's embarrassing. That that's pretty embarrassing from yeah. the East. Florida uh, Florida eighteen to one, the second favorite uh, next to Georgia. So uh, what what do we st- what's the, to talk about here? Georgia wins. I think your your angle from a betting point of view is you you go to the East. Georgia to win because if you're, yeah. you'll be in the you'll be in the uh, SEC championship regardless. What will be the right? spread of that game though? Why will Georgia be a two to one dog against well, Bama in a neutral site? But, they but might is be. that a neutral site? It's Atlanta. 
All right. So yeah. is Georgia going to be? Uh, I mean, I think it is. I think Alabama yeah. travels okay. well enough. They do. They do. But I'm just saying it's right up the road for them. Um, and then I think you stay in the East with your value play, and I think you go Missouri. Plus, also don't don't undersell the fact that SEC fans like Chick Fil A. They will be selling Chick Fil A on the Saturday of the SEC championship. So that that could be the draw for the Alabama fans. There you go. Yeah, I I think Florida is the maybe has some dog potential there to win the East. But I'm I mean again, why not just Al- Alabama to win the conference? I mean, you're getting it at a decent price. Why fuck around? Because they're not going to win the conference this year. You're having you're Georgia. Yeah. You're crazy. I'm on Georgia plus 190, and the dog is Missouri because someone's got to finish in second place in the East. You can beat up on the Vanderbilts, you can beat up on the South Carolinas, you can beat up on the Tennessees. Give me a Missouri plus four thousand. Yeah, but well, I mean, is there a chance A and M can do it? No, right. I mean, hard to do that. I, I just they they've got their ass kicked by I'll just go, every time. I'll go solo. Yeah. Give me Georgia. Alabama wins this every year. It's Not true. every year. No, Not every year. Every Auburn on. beat them one year and played it. They very yeah. recently went to the playoff without even playing. Yeah, that's the conference what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, it's it, happened. Same with Ohio State. I mean, again, thunder and lightning. We watch college football, <laughs> right? <laughs> we we know who Bill Snyder is. Ooh, ooh! ooh. Wow, deep, deep pull, <laughs> deep pull. All right, let's uh, let's talk prize picks. Uh, right. We're gonna do a, a week one lineup here, putting it together. Uh, three players over under, very easy to put together. And again, use that promo code SGP, hundred percent deposit match up to one hundred dollars. Charlie Brewer, I'm on the over two twenty five and a half. Hank. Bachmeyer, Boise State quarterback versus UCF. Very soft passing defense for UCF. I'm going, uh, you could go yards, but I'm going to go over passing touchdowns at one and a half. And for my third play, I'm taking the under on Tanner Morgan interceptions at a half going up against Ohio State. But I think they play a clean game. I think, uh, I don't think they let the, and they're at home. Mm. Big game. I, I don't know. I, I don't think he's going to be taking a ton of chances. So uh, I, I like the under on interceptions for Tanner Morgan. I like it. I like Colby? those plays. Um, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna ride the over train here. I'm gonna start off with Tanner Morgan over 185 and a half passing yards. Guess what? Ohio State had the like I think what the seventh worst defense in the pass defense in the country last year. Well, I think they might improve a little bit, but they're not going to improve overnight. <laughs> Give me Tanner Morgan and and this offense. It's a high powered offense, I think, and I think people think uh, that Minnesota, because of their COVID issues last year, weren't very good. Th- th- this team's legit. Tanner Morgan's going to be playing in the NFL. They have Ibrahim's going to be in the NFL. Uh, some offensive linemen there are going to be in the NFL. So give me Morgan over one eighty five and a half. I'm with you on the Bachmeyer play, but I'm going to go with the yardage over two thirty five and a half. UCF's defense wasn't very good last year. Bachmeyer. Returns everybody uh, with Boise, so uh, give me over two thirty-five and a half, and then I'm going to go to the Wednesday night game. Hayden Pittman, the tight end of UAB, he's really good, and thirty-seven and a half yards against Jacksonville State. Look, that's a deep pull. <laughs> you got to go this because this this one makes a lot of sense. UAB is probably going to start Tyler Johnson. He's not the most efficient down the field passer. He is a winner though. That's why they go with them. <laughs> they're, they're, they're run heavy. So much they're analysis. run heavy. So you go play action. Hayden Pittman's gonna gonna d- slice up that uh, Gamecock defense. Kramer, what do you got? No one wants that sliced up. All right. <laughs> Dylan Gabriel over oh, half yeah. interceptions. Uh, they throw the ball a zillion times a game. Sixty and attempts, and they're playing Boise State. Uh, the blue turf's confusing. Uh, it's, it's in it's, Orlando. It's, yeah, I was gonna yeah. say it's at home. Yeah, yeah. He'll, be, he'll be thinking <laughs> the about the blue turf from watching the game uh, yeah, film. Exactly. Yeah. Lots of opportunity there. Uh, we're gonna take Jaden Daniels under uh, sixty-two and a half yards rushing. They're Ooh. playing uh, Southern Utah, who got the scouting report this summer. They look like hot trash. So I don't think he's gonna need to run around all that much. Well, that's a good angle. And then I'm gonna go last one. Chris Olave under one hundred and a half yards. I we. The quarterback that will be throwing him the ball has never thrown the ball in it in a college football game, and they're playing Minnesota. And they have a ton of great receivers, so spreading that ball out just you know? seemed odd that we're getting a one of them. Obviously, he's the big name that's already uh, sitting at a hundred and a half yards. So mm. maybe this will be just like taking under two and a half touchdowns for Devontae Smith in the national championship game, <laughs> uh, where you get crushed immediately. But and uh, for the record, Sean, I am a. Uh, uh, 
the last time I wasn't really clear on this, but I am going to be playing the power play on this. Yeah. 20 to win a hundred last. I tried to play the flex play, which is you can still win if you hit two out of three, Yes, but you win less on the three out of three. I tried to play this with Terrell and moon off on the NFL preseason show and they made fun of me. So I, <laughs> I'm back to just only yeah. power plays. I understand <laughs> that's not what I meant to represent. Not the brand You're correct. image, uh, $20 entry to win 45. And you only got to get two of the three, right? Or the power play three out of three, a $2 million entry. Would win you ten million dollars, right? Mm. Mm. Well, it's interesting because with the with the two out of three, if you get if you get two out of three, you essentially get your money back plus a l- tiny bit. So, it, you know, if you're a conservative fellow, it's, it, they, <laughs> it's I a like hedge fund. they give you two pets. Hashtag you are in only. control of your own destiny. All right, Sean. Let's do. It. Let's talk Heisman. Heisman. All right. I mean, we've, we had some tickets from earlier in the summer, uh, Colby, a little bonus incentive program. Uh, I I'm kind of sticking to there. Cause it, it, it does seem hard to want to go anywhere else, but the Oklahoma quarterback, it, you know, they're going to be in that room at the end of the year. I think this team has as good a chance as ever to go undefeated. And that might be able to make up for the lack of overall, just ridiculous stats. And uh, it's, you know, so I'll go, I'll go Spencer Rattler to start. And then I think I'm going to stick with the, if there's one quarterback that could just go sh- bat shit crazy and put up the numbers, it's Matt Corral. And that's, I don't want to steal yeah. your guy, but he's still at 35 to one. Incre- and, and incredible. So, incredible odds right there for, for a guy that, uh, you know, they draw Tennessee and Vandy from the East, right? That that's a great passing afternoon on both those defenses. I think Heupel's going to make Tennessee's defense bad. Uh, then they, they play Louisville out the gate. Their defense was trash last year. Austin P he has a chance to really put some money numbers up. Uh, yes. Against Bama. That's the tough game, but he still put up great stats against yeah. Bama a season ago. So I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon. Jeff Levy in that offense that they, they they're rolling. So I, I think that's your, your best. Pop. And before you give out your Sean, one sure. h- hilarious note, uh, two Ohio state quarterbacks are 40 to one or shorter odds to win the Heisman. That, so. How does that happen? <laughs> it's insane. You got to win the starting job first. That's well, crazy. Cause they know whoever wins the starting job is immediately just plugged in right in there. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, I'm sticking with Sam. Howe. I feel like I've given him out a couple times here. But uh, sixteen to one, they're returning all five starters. I, I think they're going to be throwing a bunch. He's oh, got yeah. a good touchdown to interception percentage and a nice jump in yards per attempt, which is something I like to track. Again, I to me yards per attempt it, is the best passing metric. So eight point six freshman year, up to ten point three sophomore year. He just seems to be tracking ACC big name program, but really. They have like clearly North Carolina is pushing him as a Heisman candidate. So I think you kind of need that when you're actually trying to win these things because guys can't well and so kind of can't win it on their own. You're what basically better, saying that they're beating Virginia Tech this Friday, huh? What better? But what better program and and branding <laughs> overall? I'm not, do you not want, saying it. But, but think about it, right? UNC. This is like the the epicenter of the Jordan brand, much like yeah. Oregon has that this ability is their to push. Chance. And so the the push could be real. And, and you know, I, I think the other reason you like it is this could be an undefeated team who only loses the Clemson in yeah. the conference final like that, that, that if, if he balls out, they go undefeated minus Clemson. I think he's really in the mix there, but let's not forget what happened the last time a NFL draft, hopeful quarterbacking North Carolina came to face a Virginia tech team. He got absolutely destroyed. His name was <laughs> Mitchell Trubisky. Oh, <laughs> Hey, so let let's. There we go. Not, he's not. There let's we go. go. And shout out to the YouTube chat, youtubecom slash sports gambling podcast. Got Buckeyes fans in here. We, we got, got Mississippi uh, State fans in here. Shout we out got, to D yeah. D Bettis, who don't shit on my Ohio State. Vatech is trash at best. Look, dude, you know I haven't <laughs> donated to the program if you've been listening. I like one and one, say, one and one in that home and away. I one like and one. I like how they say trash at best. <laughs> What's below trash? I don't know, but I just love. He's like okay. Best case scenario, they're still fucking trash. It's like a negotiating Shit below tactic. trash. So Maybe. Corral is your kind of long shot. I mean, again, it's not going to hit, but I still want to put a little bit on Malik Willis, just because he seems. If there's anyone that can kind of get a bump from social media and have these kind of wow plays, we've already seen it from him. Granted, have- he goes to Liberty, so I think it's going to hurt his chances, but. 
Yeah. Can we have a hot? Is it too early for a hot take? <clears throat> oh, hot, 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 hot. What? Hot, 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 hot. We can save this for after he's drafted. Malik Willis will be a bust in the National Football really? League. Wow. Why do you think that? Because this is ridiculous. This is all off of one or two plays where they you, saw him break a tackle. You know against he Rich- was at Auburn. No, I, I understand. Like he, like he was I, legit. I think. I, I, think I understand. Stud. I yeah. just think we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. We we watched him make a couple really athletic plays. He's a good quarterback, yeah. man. He's a very good. I'm quarterback. a sucker yeah. for that, yeah. Ryan. Yeah. Just let's. Look, what happens when the pendulum swings too hard, Sean? It hits a couple people in the what, face what on the way back. What is this pendulum you're speaking of? <laughs> just the yeah, universe. Liberty wins the national championship. <laughs> Things tend to synchronize, you know. All right, let's uh, let's close it out with our college football playoff and national championship predictions. Before we get to that, want to shout out Odds Crowd again. You guys remember Odds Crowd? They did our uh, March Madness contest, of which I got second in, won twenty five hundred dollars. <laughs> oh. That could be you. Contest. There's over thirty thousand dollars in cash prizes up for grabs. They got season long, weekly contests, NFL, college football. You know we're going to be getting involved. The app is super easy to use. You can also use it for pick tracking. Uh, you can see who's dominating. Uh, it's just it's very easy to use. So highly recommend it. And again, free entries to win money. What what more do I have to explain to you, you guys? Overlay alert. <laughs> and uh, not just fantasy betting contests, also social app. You guys want to mix it up? Uh, they got a live group chat with other betters tracking your bets. Can set up your own private contests. That is uh, always uh, nice to have around. Download the app for free, or just head over to oddscrowd.com. Kramer, four teams make the college football playoff. Give me your, uh, give me your four, Number in dramatic fashion. From four to one. I, I think it might be more interesting to go from one to four. Uh, my my number one seed, the Georgia Bulldogs. Ooh. My number my number two seed. Oklahoma. Hmm. I like. It. No, they're my they're my two seed. My three seed is going to be. I like this music. Clemson. And my four seed, the diabolical end to the college football playoff. Alabama somehow gets a rematch against Georgia <laughs> after losing. To them, this will outrage America. This will outrage Kobe Dant. <laughs> no, you have the same exact Do setup we? as me. So I mean, it's pretty. Uh, this is why the playoff, the invitation is garbage. What can we yeah. do? What else can we do? Get Ohio State in there. Let's yeah. see what Sean has. Okay. What I'm going to do here? Oh, he, right. He's changing it up really quick. Colby and I, by the way, uh, thunder and lightning. We we see have achieved synergy. Yeah. <laughs> you guys couldn't at least see it different. Come on. No, I mean, well, okay. Here, here you go. I'll you want to do I'll two put, and three I'll different? Clemson, yeah. and then I'll put Oakland. <laughs> yeah, Colby and I are lockstep. Don't fuck around. Well, they're not going to put in. The only other one they put in is Ohio State. They're not going to put oh, in. Sean, Sean's about to make us make us proud here. Washington. So uh-huh. someone has to stand on the fiery right. island. Oh, oh. Number one seed, Alabama. Number two seed, Clemson, <laughs> as expected. Number three seed, Texas A and M comes out of nowhere. <laughs> and four seed, making a case for the Pac twelve. Gave him out to uh, make the college football playoff. Give me the Washington Huskies <laughs> to get in. There you go. Oh my oh. goodness. I how they did it before, right? Over under a half review one star review after this <laughs> prediction. How many people are going to come at heavy, Sean? Heavy, he- yeah, heavy don't. amount, right? Sean's uh, opinions don't reflect the, those of the sports gambling <laughs> podcast. Wait, what did I do here? Oh wait, I can't have uh you can't have Texas a and M and Alabama. You'd have to get Alabama out of there or, Oh yeah. I guess so, you could. I, it, be, no, it, well, no, I'm having, cause I'm Texas a and M needs to be the w- number one seed. All right. Oh, that's, you. that's insane. Then all right, you know, fuck it. <laughs> Texas A and M is the number one seed because then I have because they but, can. But Sean, you picked Alabama to win the SEC. Yeah, you're right. That was, <laughs> I don't know why I had Alabama or Texas A and M in there. All right, my my third team. Like the sand through the hourglass. <laughs> you could go Georgia. No, that, I'm going uh, Florida because I have. I think they okay. have a dark. I, they have a chance to make uh, to win the East. Ooh. I gave that out. So. Give me Florida. That is my correct okay. prediction. So uh, t- let's move on to the second round. I have, oh, this is going to be really hot. I have Georgia beating Alabama and advancing to play Oklahoma in the national Ooh. championship. Mm. 
This is where we differ, oh, my nice. friend. Because look, Georgia had to beat Bama to get in there. Ah, uh, twice in two weeks, not going to happen. Bama beats Georgia, and then uh, Oklahoma beats Clemson. All right. Okay. I have. I, I, this might take Sean a moment. No, I have Alabama <laughs> beating Washington in a close game. Ah. I'll have I'll have Florida making it to the national championship. <laughs> <A> real- <laughs> All right, uh, Oklahoma wins the national championship. Alabama Lincoln wins Riley, the national championship. Lincoln Riley gets it done finally in a year that sees fresh quarterbacks at Clemson, Alabama, and Ohio State. Lincoln Riley gets it done. No, Alabama does. <laughs> Alabama wins. They beat Florida. All right. All right. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah, I could have guessed. If only this. there were more teams. I could have guessed plan. this. Uh, what the first day after the the, the last <laughs> season ended, right? That's right, so oh, amazing. You, you didn't see my. You well, didn't see my Washington. Why did you preview coming? all 130 teams, Colby? <laughs> right? If you knew how Should've it was going to previewed four, right? Next year I'll just preview four teams. All right, guys. Yeah, new new uh, new <laughs> rule. Only one four previews next year. <laughs> Maybe five with Ohio State. All right. All right, Sean. Closing people should out. subscribe to the YouTube channel. So subscribe they the- to the YouTube so you can get involved in the uh, in the chat and turn on the notifications because we will randomly be going live. And of course, we got some live shows coming from the Win Bet Blue Wire Studio in Win in Las Vegas for NFL Week One. Count you down there. Speaking of NFL Week One, get in your mm. Uh, download the app so you're ready to go. You will be uh, able to make your entries for the free shot to win $100,000 as is coming up very soon. So you don't want to miss that drop a uh, rating and review. Uh, we just got a, a new winner of merch Monday. So, uh, and, and maybe I'll just pull that up real quick here for a second, but again, nice, uh, nice chance to uh, win some free S G P merch. Yeah. It's about to be fall. It's getting cold out there. It is getting yeah. a little chilly. And uh, you know, maybe get a hoodie there. By far the most entertaining group of guys talking sports. I've been with these guys for it feels like a decade. Got to oh, be right. close. And he's right. Ten year anniversary coming up. Uh, it's it's evolved from a podcast feeling like talking to buddies to a real deal betting juggernaut. Ooh. My girl who hates sports even laughs in the background and also asks, "How does Colby do so many of these?" This <laughs> review will get <laughs> penetration. Yeah, he's one of those guys who will get <laughs> penetration. <laughs> well, he does sports for a living. Yeah, yeah that's I how. do sports, baby. Sports. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stacking the Money Green, and he is Ryan. Sean, fucking football's back. Kramer, let it ride.